concert will be held in our new gym this Friday, and one of our own will be starring in it. Jay Norton and his band Double Negative are performing or holding a free performance here on Friday night at 8 p.m. The doors will open at 7:30, and the band promises a fam family-friendly, high-energy performance of their punk and rock sound. The band formed while Jay Norton was taking part in the School of Rock in Las Vegas. Double Negative has played at the Hard Rock Cafe as well as a number of other venues. They were featured performers in Bullhead City's Burner Celebration this year as well. More news coming up on Patriots Today. Good morning, I'm Rena Hartman. And I'm Molly Karajpaksa. Student Council is hosting a Valentine's Day fundraiser. They are selling three types of crush soda, and you can purchase to send to someone else. Strawberry for your love, orange for your crush, and grape for all your friends. All crushes will be sent anonymously and only cost $1. However, the recipients may pay an extra $2 to, fi to find out who sent them the crush, unless you pay an additional $1 for anonymous insurance. So stop by Mrs. Session's room during lunch to order a crush for your crush today. Next Wednesday is the last day to order, so you better hurry. The Elks Lodge is offering another scholarship to high school seniors. The deadline to complete the application is Thursday, February 13th, so if you are interested, you need to act fast. Pick up your application packet from Mrs. Marion right away. The next ACT test is on February 8th, but don't worry if you're behind on your studies. You can visit www.scoreuptestprep.com for a live online ACT review test. You can review as much as you want to get the score you need for earning scholarship money in a college admission. For more information, please contact Mrs. Merrigan. Key Club has several items for sale right now. You can buy an insulated tumbler for only $10. It's perfect for keeping drinks cool or warm and is dishwasher safe. Also, you can grab one of the bleacher blankets for $20. They come with a school logo on the front and a convenient carrying handle. Both items can be purchased at a home basketball game or at any time in Mrs. Sessions' room. Speaking of Key Club, if you're a member, don't forget today's meeting at lunch in Mrs. Shesson's room. And the middle school book club is having a very short meeting today after school in Mrs. Winald's room. Also, tomorrow the Interact Key Club will meet in Bros and Griffin's room during lunch. The club will be discussing the upcoming Phoenix Conference and their total of packing 1 million meals. Club members need to attend the, uh, the meeting to get permission slips for the conference. Finally, there will be a speech and debate club meeting on Thursday at lunch, also in Bros and Griffin's room. The topic selected for the meeting is, are celebrities treated differently in the legal system? Come to the meeting prepared to support your view. And that's it for school and cl club news. The dodgeball tournament we've mentioned yesterday has been canceled, where we've got sports up next, right after Today in History. In 1865, the Hawaiian Board of Education was formed. The first electric portable typewriter was placed on sale in 1957. In 1998, Bill Gates received a pie thrown in his face in Brussels, Belgium. Stephanie Schneider joins us now on set to tell everyone what's going on in the world of the Malk, Malk Athletics. Stephanie, how did our teams do yesterday? Well, Raina, we had three games yesterday, two middle school games at home and a boys varsity game on the road. Up first, the eighth grade girls and boys teams hosted the Peach Springs basketball teams yesterday in our gym. The girls, came, the girls game kicked off at 345 and played a strong game to finish for a solid win. The eighth grade boys played next and found the Peach Springs Warriors to be a very tough opponent. The Warriors, pre the Warriors pressure defense proved difficult to overcome and Peach Springs went home with the win against our Patriots. <clears throat> the high school varsity boys were on the road to Phoenix yesterday to face Southwest leadership. They hung in there for most of the game, but the Rams got them in the end. The Patriots are back to Phoenix today, this time to take on Arizona Collegiate. College. <laughs> Good luck, guys. <laughs> There will be open field on Monday and Friday nights from 6 to 7.30 p.m. for any middle school and high school girls that are interested in playing softball this year. Also, there will be an open weight room on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.30 to 4.45 p.m. 
For high school softball players, anyone interested in playing middle or high school softball, please see Coach Wilder before or after school in, in the elementary classroom 13. And that's your sports report. I'm Stephanie Schneider. Thank you, Stephanie. We're back with more news right after today's lunch menu. We've got a few more stories to share with you before we go. Scheduled air service may be coming to soon to Laughlin Bullhead International Airport. That's the word from John Hastings, the president of the Mojave County Airport Authority. The airport currently flies in about 120,000 people on the charter flights paid by the Laughlin casinos. However, there are no scheduled flights by the airlines to tie the area with any larger airports. Sometimes this year, though, a major air carrier is expected to begin providing five flights a week to Los Angeles International Airport. Soon, a passenger flying anywhere in the world will be able to check their bags and go through the security in Bullhead City and then take off to their destination. Winter storms continue to pound areas of the country and, in many cases, threatening lives. Th that was the case in Alabama last week when a patient was admitted to Trinity Medical Center in B Birmingham in need of emergency brain surgery. Unfortunately, the only available neurosurgeon was at Brookwood Medical Center about six miles away and the traffic was shut down because of a sudden snowstorm. So, Dr. Rinko began walking to the other hospital. Spotty cell service caused some concerns as the hospital lost touch with the doctor along the way and had emergency services out looking for him. Eventually, Dr. Rinko showed up, though, and performed the life-saving surgery. High-speed chases may soon be a thing of the past, at least in Europe. A secret plan by the European Union was brought to light this week, which will outfit every vehicle in the European market with a device that will allow police to remotely disable them at their will. The plan calls for a six-year timetable time and will require the devices as standard equipment on vehicles produced for the market, as well as required installation on any vehicles imported there. Police will also be able to disable the vehicle's fuel supply and ignition from a central headquarters location. The proposal is one of the key objectives in the, of the European network in the law enforcement technologies. And now, here's your word of the day. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.